science is about daring to try new ideas. As we learn more and more from each setback, that's how big discoveries are made. When we are curious about our world, we find the motivation to study, to understand it. Programming has always amazed me since I was young, as it can create so many innovative games and applications. My mission is to understand the tiny protein structures in bacteria or disease cells and identify specific parts or sites to target for drug development. To do this, I use a special technique called cryogenic electron microscopy or cryo-EM. We freeze the fragile proteins under cryogenic temperatures and take lots of photos from different angles. But these proteins don't always freeze in a way that lets us see every part. To overcome this, we developed a method that involves physically tilting the microscope stage, together with various cryo-EM grids, computational processing, and data collection settings. This makes the resulting 3D image more robust from different angles. Our technique was especially useful during COVID-19. We helped our collaborators understand the structure of the coronavirus's proteins, which helped in creating new therapeutics involving multiple antibodies targeting different COVID variants. Using computational methods and analytical techniques, I search for new materials and explore their hidden quantum behaviors. I focus on their electronic, magnetic, and optical properties at the quantum level, studying how they can be converted into high-performance next-generation technologies. Take solar cells, for example. Even after 10 years of innovation, typical silicon-based solar cells only convert around 30% of sunlight into electricity. Our research has identified materials that can generate an exceptionally high photocurrent. We could one day develop quantum materials that are a thousand times more efficient than the current solar cells and make a giant leap towards a cleaner, greener future. I developed techniques to improve the common sense reasoning abilities of foundational AI models. By combining text, audio, and video data from human interactions, my AI systems can understand intentions and emotions. This helps AI make better decisions using what we call common sense. I believe this will greatly enhance machine-to-human interactions, and it can also assist in human-to-human -human understanding which can support areas like healthcare, assisting doctors in tracking patients' emotions and mental health. Receiving this award tells me that I'm on the right path and I'm inspired to go further. It is a privilege to inspire the next generation of researchers, especially here in Singapore, where the R&D ecosystem is both robust and world-class. I am grateful to the OISA for recognizing my research efforts in AI.